Hello friends, welcome to BSC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your subscription and likes are always motivating us. So let's move to the video. So in this video, we are going to see about fundamentals of entomology. I am going to cover the structures of insects, only the main appendages of head and its appendages. So the first one, while seeing the general organization of the insect, it is divided into three distinct regions. So they are the head, thorax as well as the abdomen. So these are the three regions in insect body which is differentiated. So we can able to name this grouping of body segment of the distinct region as tagmosis. The process of grouping the body segment into distinct regions is known as tagmosis and the body regions which are done by tagmosis is known as tagmata. So you must need to remember it. So first I am going to cover in this lecture video is insect head. So the first anterior tagma which is the pro which is done by the fusion of six segments which is known as ocular, antenary, intercalatory, mandibular, maxillary as well as the labial segments. So these are the six segments which are said to be found by the fusion of six mm, fusion in our insect head. So the head is attached to the thorax by the articulated oh sorry so the head is attached to by the articulated thorax to the thorax by the neck region so which you can able to call it as cervix so the head is a capsule sclerotized and the head capsule excluding appendages formed by the fusion of several sclerates is known as the cranium so we can able to classify the cranium as nothing but the center as well as the line between two segments so it's known as cranium so i have given the diagram of the insect head in the frontal view as well as the side view so these are the compounds like compound eye oxali vertex so the frontal genal succulus as well as the frontal kypeal succulus and the front and the gena which is found in the sides of the front as well as the anterior tutorial pit and mandibles labellum as well as clypeus so these are the segments which is said to be found in the head so as well as in the side part of the head it is same and uh, you can able to see that uh, one side of the insect head it's how it is present so i have just given the main six segments so of the insect head which is vertex fronts clypeus genus occupied as well as the post occupied so while seeing the six segments so vertex which is nothing but the dorsal head in between the compound eyes so on the fronts is a facial area between the vertex as well as about the clipex so kypeus is the cranial area below the fronts to which the labrum is said to be attached so gena which is the thing is found in the lateral cranial area behind our compound eyes so the occipit is said to be the cranial area between the occipital as well as the post occipital sc sculpture so which is near our the mouth region as well as the post occipit where the sclerites behind the occipit are known as post occipit and gula which is an extra sclerite which is found only in the beetles in the insects so while for remembering you can able to see as well as study with the help of the picture so which can be helpful as well as useful in our exams so the sutures are head so they used to have a linear invocation of the exoskeleton between two sclerites so the sutures are nothing but uh, stitches which is in between the heads so the sutures are also referred as sulcus so which is another name of suture so there are three sutures which is epicranial suture or as well as the ecdysal suture which is said to be an y shaped suture which is found in between the top of his head as well as the median suture which is the coronal suture as well as the rational suture they are it was named as coronal suture as well as the frontal suture so these are the names you must need to remember and a epistomal suture or, uh, or the frontoclypeal suture so which is said to be found in between the front as well as clypus so it's where the name is said to be done so the frontoclypeal suture as well as the epi used to give the meaning of above as well as the stomata used to give the meaning of mouth parts so it's where the suture is said to be found and a clypolabrum suture which is found between the clypeus as well as the labrum which is also known as the upper lip of the insect head and the other three are the frontogenal suture which is found between fronts as well as the gena and a clypeogenal suture which is found between the clypeus, gene, clypeus and gena and the occipital suture which is found between gena and the occiput in the insect head so these are the sutures we must need to remember and the other two of post capital suture as well as occipital suture so the post 
occipital suture is found between the occipital forum as well as the post occipit so it's where the found formation is formed and then the occipital suture where the occipital suture is said to be for done for the posterior opening of the cranium and the suture used to cover the aorta foregut ventral nerve cord as well as the neck back neck back muscle which is where it's said to be possess so these are the places where the occipital foramen used to occur so in addition the eyes is surrounded by the sclerates which is known as ocular sclerates which is said to be separated from the cranium by ocular suture and the antenna is said to be inserted into a ring of cuticle which is known as antenna sclerate which is separated by antenna suture and the endoskeleton of insect cuticle which used to provide space for the attachment of muscles of antenna as well as the mouth part which is called as tentorium so just remember these words so where it can be asked in our point phase as well as one marks so now we have seen the segments as well as the functions and sutures present in our head so while seeing the functions of head it is said to be a sensory as well as a feeding center of the insect body so it used to get the food ingestion as well as the sensory presentation and the coordination of bodily activities and the production of coordinating centers which is present in our insect body so these are the functions which is made by the insect head so after that the appendages of head so the appendages are the compound eyes the auxiliary and the pairs of antenna and the mouth parts are said to be known as the cephalic appendages in present in our head so you must need to remember it. so these are the perspective images of compound eye so the compound eye used to be made by the outer covering is made by the facets as well as there is a lens in between the, them as well as the omeditum which is said to be the inner part and which used to connect to our nerve cord and the ram bottom which is said to be a nerve that connects the optical nerve as well as the eye nerve and the crystalline cone which used to convert the images of the insect and uh, transfer it to the brain so it's how the compound are used to work and the dorsal ocelli which is known as the simple eye they used to have a transverse section through an insect ocelli which is found in the forehead of the insects so they are used to their main perspective is to gather the light which is required by the compound eyes so these are the words of the dorsal ocelli so and the answer which is said to be known as the organ of smell and touch in each and every insects so i have given the structure of antenna where the upper part is said to be known as the flagellum and uh, the each segment from the flagellum is known as the pedicel and the uh, long segment which is uh, as like as the pedicel is known as the scape which used to connect to the insect head so the scape which is connected to the head by the antenna sutures as well as the anterior antenna socket which used to engulf the scape and the antenna sclerate which used to give the grip to the scape in, in each and every insect so the main function of the antenna is to smell as well as the feel the touch so i am going to give you the functions of antenna in a clear way so they are used to detect the chemicals which is present in the environment so they used to precise smell as well as the detect humidity temperature wind velocity as well as the directions where it must need to go and also in mosquitoes they are used for hearing different sounds and in frog and in ants they are used for the communication so but the antenna is said to be absent in the order protura in some kinds of insects so just remember the order which can be useful for you and the mouth parts so after seeing the eye as well as the overall structures in the head of the appendages as well as the sutures now we are going to the mouth part so they used to have a primitive type so they used to contain the five mouth part types so which is mainly used for feeding they used to comprise of labrum mandible maxilla hypopharynx and the labium so these are the five important structures in the mouth of each and every insect so i have given the pictures of each and every one so the mandible which is said to be used for giving the grip to the feed as well as use it as scissors for cutting them and uh, maxilla which is only for giving the support to the food and labium which is used to engulf the food and hypopharynx and labrum which is used to cut as well as insert the food in the insect mouth so these are them 
so i have given the lecture notes in description if you have any doubt please comment in the section or join us in instagram and ask your comments ask your doubts as private as possible so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and get the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video thank you i'll catch up in next videos